So yeah, first thanks. of all, I mean, just a couple things that really amused me. One is um, every time you had a relationship, and there were many, it, you yeah. described each one as being the most amazing, the most awesome, passionate, <laughs> never before in my life. My eyes blew up. My boobies <laughs> fell off. You desc- each one was almost the same of all these characters. And then you went to Italy to Italy, knowing yeah. nothing about the country <clears throat> with basically no money. Yep. You got to talk about that and talk about that abandoned place you stayed in, which is so dangerous. That's called the periferia. I know where you were. It's a Do real you? scary place. Ooh. And I a miracle no you're alive, like but you that. had those big three black dudes who were sort of your protectors, right? Yes. I mean, ma- from the Maasai tribe, and they had all these... <laughs> some, these this is unbelievable. Uh, the, you know, those like bumps all over their face in patterns yes. and stuff. Yeah, I know exactly. And they were something. hugely tall. And next door to my apartment, I had no lock on the door because I was just... Squatting. Uh, squatting there. I, I have to... I don't want you... This is... People don't won't believe this. Okay. So imagine like... The projects or some place in your worst imagination. It was awful, man. You know, I had almost no idea like that was in Rome. things I, that are no. well. Yeah, every city has its. Yeah, its you know, not very visible, but once you're there, it's alarming. And Cassandra, at a very young age, what seventeen or nineteen or by some then, teen. Yeah, by then I was about nineteen. Nineteen, nineteen. Yeah. You you're literally in a in a shell of an apartment that had nothing but a mattress. Yep. No locks on the door. Nothing because. You weren't renting no it. You just found a place to crash. Yeah. And it had th- running water. That was well, fantastic. Miracolo. Miracolo. Yeah, it was. And next door were these these big dudes who became friendly and, and helped you because that's they a did. recipe for disaster. I can't even Yes, believe. I know. Believe me, I was constantly running away from someone or other. But these guys <laughs> kind of became my protectors. They watched my apartment for me. They made sure that, you know, I was... <clears throat> I had food. They'd bring me over food that they would cook and everything. That's unbelievable. <clears throat> I lucked out, right? Can you imagine that happening today? Would no. you want your 19-year-old daughter, if you had one, to be in I that situation? Want, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want, want my want 40-year-old to. daughter. Yeah, the yeah. whole thing is, is mad. <laughs>